Good morning. Uh, now that I've got the Latte Panda uh, in its case here, uh, what I was uh, hoping to do was to show you the uh, uh, out-of-box experience. So I'm not sure how well this will record. I've never tried uh, recording directly off the screen here. But let's plug it in and uh, let's see what goes on. Let me turn on my keyboard first. And then we'll plug this guy in. Yep. There we go, and we can see the light is uh, is on. We're booting. Okay. Well, oh, it would help if I actually turned the power on. That would uh, make a difference. There we go. Pretty cool, the little latte panda sign there. And uh, this is running a, a full copy of Windows 10. So we'll be seeing the uh, uh, proper Windows 10 uh, boot up sequence. Uh, occurring so we'll get a shell we'll get a desktop experience and so on okay and here we go so let me join this to my network and we'll be right back. Actually, let me plug in uh, the network cable rather than joining by wireless. There we go. Okay. Yes, we do. This is on my home network. So I want it to be visible to uh, my desktop PC for the purposes of this here and here we go we're all up and running let's go have a look at the system I have a look at help about or about the name of the machine, Windows 10 Home, 4 gig of RAM, and it's an Atom. This is a Cherry Trail uh, CPU. So this is quite a, a, a nice uh, uh, processor. So and it's telling me I have touch because uh, uh, I'm using a uh, uh, the Logitech here. Uh, so all right, let's uh, go and uh, see if we can get. Uh, uh, updates done to it. Now, out of the box, you will notice that uh, it has the Arduino uh, stuff already uh, installed. Let's check and see what the uh, Yes, there's a bunch of apps that are still uh, downloading. Let's see what else we've got here. So it basically looks like it's just a standard install uh, with the Arduino uh, 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 app added. And so when we run this, uh, you saw this D13, which is just here. So I should be able to run this. Let's check that it's set up for the the board it's supposed to be a I think it's supposed to be an Uno um, but let's go in and uh, open the blinky example and so if we scroll down you'll see that uh, it's using pin D13 here so if we have a look at the tools look at the serial port You'll see that there's one or two ports here. So 
let's go and actually take a quick look at the device manager and we should have a see the ports so you know we'll see here that the this is probably this com4 is probably where they've hung because i remember i was saying in the first video the overview that what they've done is they've connected the arduino that's on here via uh, a usb port to a serial port so it's probably com4 so let's go in and just uh select uh, com4 as the the board here and then let's go build and uh, upload this and then we'll see if you know d13 light starts blinking it's compiled it's uploading Okay, need to uh, uh, go check and see what the, the board designation is. Okay, it's apparently a Leonardo, not an Uno. So let's go in and oh, let's go in and select the Leonardo. Make sure that I actually got that. Yep. And now let's go and compile and upload again. And it should upload now on COM4. And there you go. We can see the LED blinking. It's got the little light pipe there. Uh, and you saw the serial ports uh, bouncing back and forth as we push the, the sketch down. So that's uh, using the Arduino uh, on here as a standalone Arduino board uh, and we can start uh, uh, running sketches on that. Let's go and uh, spin let's go and uh, spin this up in the next video to use uh, UWP or the Universal Windows platform and the Windows devices namespace. Well, and they've done a, a good job of uh, ensuring that uh, the, the image on here has all the uh, the updates installed already. So, uh, uh, con you know, kudos, thumbs up to uh, DF Robot.